So, Dragon Ball Super is over. But we know that Dragon Ball isn't over because we've got a movie coming out uh, end of the year, 2000, December 2018 mm-hmm. is this year, isn't it? Um, we also have the games are still coming and we know that Goku is going to be a mascot in the Olympics. So we are talking about what we would like a new new TV series to be, where we'd like it to be set and when it would like it to be set. So as always, I'm your host, Scott. Hello. And this is Rick and he is in fact Ginger. <laughs> leave so there we go um luckily you don't need souls to be in our show nor gains apparently hey <laughs> <laughs> okay so got a couple ideas for when i think will be quite interesting uh to set a new tv show apart from the obvious straight after super uh and yeah we'll just chat through if you think they're good if, if they're shit and we're not talking about the movie there could be movie announcements uh probably by the time I upload this video, uh, God knows. So that's why we're talking just about a new TV show. Uh, Okay, so what I think would be really cool is if we set it with, you know, the universes that got revived, the six universes that got destroyed. I think it'd be really class if there was a reason they were destroyed. You know, maybe there's like evil shit in them. And then when Android 17 wished back all the universes, (laughs) he wished back all these like Nazi universes or something. I don't know. Not Nazi universes. I mean like really evil... You know what I mean? Hmm. That's very interesting. It'd be, it'd be class if there was new villains in there, you know, new enemies. And it'd be really cool if they had to, tra- uh, maybe the, the Z fighters had to travel to the different universes to take out these threats. Interesting theory, but that actually, I just want to rewind there. Um, with the wish that 17 made, was it just for the, I, I was on, I just assumed it was the term, the universes that were erased during the tournament, but well, did it actually cover all original, original 18? Well, that's the thing. We know Dragon Ball is very open ended in that sense, and chances are they don't know. Chances are they haven't thought that through, you know. So <laughs> yeah, I think, yeah, yeah. you know, it's not closed off. And I think if they wanted to do a new series that brought that involved those six destroyed universes, I think they would just write it in and just be like, yeah, that's what it meant. So hmm. would you think that would be good? Well, it would certainly give a lot more um, material to work with, no doubt, because yeah. I mean, you're talking six universes. I mean,. <laughs> You could try it with one universe, and then if it turned out to be a flop, you could just ignore that. Or if it was a success, you could you know, explore each subsequent one. Yeah. But uh, then you just want to be careful that it doesn't turn into GT. You yeah, know? the kind of universe hopping. Up. Yeah, you know, it's basically like oh, they're oh, they're actually Dragon Balls scattered throughout all twelve or all eighteen universes, and they can create a super ultra mega giga <laughs> Shenron, you know, which can. Yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. Uh, I don't know. Do I don't think that would ever. Well, I'd hope that wouldn't be the case. Hopefully not. But. Uh, I think definitely we should involve universes we haven't seen. And also remember that in the Tournament of Power, there were the four best universes weren't included. Mm-hmm. So we've got, there could be way stronger fighters in there. And that would be interesting. That's true. And interesting point, actually, there could be strong fighters, but there might not be. That's not a guarantee. Because, I mean, look at Jiren. Jiren is meant to be the pro- possibly the strongest mortal in all the universes, allegedly. I, I don't, is that, I, that could be it, yeah. But the thing is, it's, it's the total, uh, the, the deciding factor which basically qualified the universe to be exempt or take part in the tournament of power was the average mortal level yeah so you could have the strongest i mean you know obviously goku and vegeta were stronger than basically everybody else but it's basically all the life forms so obviously earth dragged the average down somewhat because i mean the mechans are pretty strong they were all in the hundreds yeah, of thousands earth is a planet of gremlins yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> rubbish yeah it really is it's basically it basically is literal human waste oh absolutely yeah you know it's like human <clears throat> tns oh sorry i mean waste i I just get, I get mixed up with those words sometimes. But anyway, no, uh, yes, and that that would be very interesting. But I, th- I'd like to see the other universes. But okay. I'm just curious because, uh, like I was saying, you, saying to you before, um, obviously Goku was always the the main character, the protagonist of the whole series, and then whenever uh, Toriyama was trying to pass the mantle on to Gohan, the fans didn't like it; they rejected it, and so that's why he brought Goku back. So uh, it's and there's a few bits about if that was exact. That, that was a f- yeah well I don't, I don't mean i don't know i'm just going by you know what yeah. read press sources, yeah. but i mean take everything people do say it. yeah it's hard to yeah. know exactly but i know what you mean <clears throat> take everything with a pinch of salt yeah but, exactly but i know what you mean but definitely they'd have to be careful as to who the show revolved around because it was in different universes i mean would it just be goku hopping from universe to universe or would they have different lead characters it would it be like game of thrones where you know there are obviously a range of main characters uh and then you follow different ones from their own perspectives well, that would be an interesting way of breaking it up like if you know say a couple of characters went to one universe, a couple of characters went to another universe. You know, that would be cool. Hmm. Just like in a way to split hmm. them up so it doesn't become the the Goku Vegeta show again. Yeah, I, I always think back to, I loved the Frieza saga where, well, the Namek saga, where the, the 
the story crutch was that Goku didn't get there on time, so it was an excuse to focus on Gohan and Krillin. And it was like, sweet, and Vegeta, you know? Mm-hmm. Um, so I think Super, or not Super, I think Dragon Ball, when it comes back, if it's called Super, if it's not, I think it will be called Super because the movie's called Super. I think it would be great to not revolve around Goku again. And I think if they went to different universes, that would be a good way of doing it. Yeah. Uh, that's a very fair observation, I think, or very fair suggestion, yeah. Um, basically, I think only time will tell. But um, for whoever the lead character would be, it would have to be somebody that people would definitely get behind. And like I was saying before, I think Frieza would be a good shout because people love to hate him or hate to love him. You know, I mean, you can hate him or love him. I mean, he's still, he's still very interesting, you know, and if he still maintains the qualities or basically the, the, the character which we sort of have come to know over the last few episodes, I think it would be particularly so, interesting. So you, do you think Frieza as the the person the, the story follows or do you think him as another antagonist again, like Resurrection F? Or? Maybe touch upon what you said earlier, rather than being an outright antagonist, what about like an anti-hero? Yeah. Or like yeah. A, you know, a reluctant ally, kind of like in the Tournament of Power, you know, basically yeah. you're someone who you obviously you don't get on with, but... The enemy of my enemy is my friend, yeah. basically. Yeah, I think a uh, good focus on Fraser would be good. We know he's obviously mm. back and he's assembling <clears> his <throat> army again, and that would be pretty interesting. Number thing, um, you you said there, you, you think Dragon Ball has to revolve around Goku? Well, I I don't I didn't say it had to, well, but it seems to be that it does. It does, it you does. Know, you know, I mean, okay. on people, you know, it seems to be a common consensus that uh, Goku is the star. I mean, Goku is Dragon Ball. It's like Ball. Yeah. Superman is the star of. Funnily enough, the Superman franchise. <laughs> well, what do you, <laughs> you think know? about the idea of, say, they they go further in the future than GT had, and they have the next generation, and they focus on that, like maybe the Gohan, or sorry, the Goten Trunks era, or even beyond that, and, you know, it could be Goku is great-great-grandpa Goku, or most likely dead, and you could have, you know, like, a, I think there was a GT movie where it was Pan's grandson, Goku, mm-hmm. Goku Jr., would you like something like that? A new cast, you know, a new younger cast, and maybe you could have Pan still alive, maybe Gohan still alive or whatever, Goten Trunks, but as old men? Would you like to see a next generation? Because Naruto just did that with his son, Boruto, and now the shit, you know, it's new, a new story with a younger cast. Could you see <clears throat> that happening with Dragon Ball? Lo- uh, short answer, no, I don't see it, I because... Probably, no. probably, should, probably should have prepared this one a bit before. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'll, 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 I'll tell you why. I'll, I'll give you a specific uh, answer. I think because we t- Saiyans don't really age. Saiyans maintain their youthful appearance until, I think, it's like 80 or 90, roughly the same age as a human being, and then they basically just die. So uh, I don't think we would ever see, like, a, an old white-haired Vegeta with a walking stick going, hey, you kids, stay off my lawn. You know, I just I don't yeah, think yeah. it would happen. But uh, unless you find Ultra Instinct, then he would have, have, <laughs> have white hair. But uh, I don't think we would see them as old men, basically. Uh, and yeah, it'd be pretty cool, I guess, seeing the next generation because, I mean, it would be fresh. It'd be new yeah, characters to explore yeah. and get reattached to. But uh, as to whether that'll happen or not, I, I have no idea. I can't say. Fair enough. Um, what about if we did it in the past instead? We talked about this briefly before mm-hmm. and we could either do it uh, Yamoshi's time of the legendary Super Saiyan, mm-hmm. and it'd be interesting to see the uh, like the origin of Super Saiyans <clears throat> and Super Saiyan God. I think it would just that would be quite interesting to set it with their ancestors, um, you know, or even we could do it like around Bardock's time or the mm-hmm. time that they invade uh, Planet Vegeta, which was Planet Plant, you know, Tuffles. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Planet there, Planet Sadala to Planet Plant. We could maybe see that. But what what are your thoughts on doing it in the the past instead of? the future i would find that very interesting actually uh definitely yeah. very exciting to see in fact obviously there was the movie it was the history of bardock which yeah, yeah. sort of touched upon that so obviously we got to see what bardock was like and you know uh, we saw his bond between him and his team and how he became the first legend or just the first super saiyan but it's not it's not uncommon legend, so wait a bit uh, but crazy <laughs> but as with well, I, I i enjoyed it actually um, that was good that was a good film yeah yeah uh but he's special whatever <laughs> But as for Yamashi, there seems to be a little bit of uh, vagueness, ambiguity here. I mean, so so far we've heard that he was the first Super Saiyan. Mm. So he created the legend of the Super Saiyan. He was the legendary Super Saiyan, but also the legendary Super Saiyan, which is obviously the big, the big brawly, whatever. So uh, Kale now. And there's also that, well, you've got to be PC, mm, of course. Yes, no, <laughs> Saiyan, Kale, uh, yeah. whatever, whatever she was, Super Saiyan. I don't know. Berserk don't know. legend. Uh, anyway, uh, what else was there? Um... Uh, he was also the first Super Saiyan God so he was the first Super Saiyan the first legendary Super Saiyan and the first Super Saiyan God so he seems to be all three in one allegedly I mean 
definitely I think a film exploring that and maybe getting some concrete answers would be very helpful. Yeah, but if we, I, he could be in the new film for all we know, but would you want to watch that as the new ongoing TV show? You know, and just like for a year, we don't talk about Goku at all. And it's just like, you, you know, the ancient Saiyans. Would you, would you like that? Or would you miss Goku and all? Well, like anything, I suppose you would miss him at the start, but then you would yeah. maybe just, you know, life goes on. I mean, you well, know. I, I think if they announced that, I wouldn't be sad. I think it'd be interesting because it wouldn't be so much about transformations and we're not at a level where people can destroy universes and destroy everything. And I think if you had it in the past with these characters who aren't quite as strong, it'll be, maybe there'll be more emphasis on story and drama and interactions as opposed to just new levels of power. Maybe that's not quite Dragon Ball anymore, but I think it'd be interesting. Absolutely, I actually agree. Yeah, with everything you just said, uh, it certainly would shift the balance away from just outright um, Michael Bayness. You know, where you're just like destroying <laughs> yeah, everything. Yeah, with it's big... just like new feats of power. And new... <laughs> I destroy a planet with my finger. Yeah. Oh, come on, guys. Yeah, yeah um, but then obviously that would probably uh, it would allow the great ape to come into play again as well. Yeah. I would love to see I that. Missed the great ape. It was great. Yeah, yeah it was great. I mean, and we that... see pure. We see the Saiyans like being more of an actual warrior race because. Now we're seeing Saiyans, and we're only seeing the domesticated Earth Saiyans, or we're seeing Universe 6, whatever those abominations are. <laughs> I, I oh, oh, that's right, Saiyans yes, yes. Uh, um, them with their tingly sensation in the back to transform. I mean, cells. Yeah, I should have mentioned that earlier, but I mean, that, that uh, really... Yeah, a tingly sensation. I missed the, I missed when being like a Saiyan a was more infection. about like... Oh, God. It sounds <laughs> more like... Or when... Uh, we seen the proper Saiyans, you know, Goku and Vegeta. It was more about the rage and the pride and stuff. And the Universe <clears> 6 Saiyans just seem, they almost seem more like humans, you know. So uh, I guess that leads on to my next one. If you wouldn't want to see uh, Vegeta goes to Planet Sadala as an entire TV show, would you? For a couple of episodes, absolutely, definitely. Just yeah, to maybe take a holiday, you know, get different perspective. But let's broaden not, the horizon. Let's not have an entire series in Universe 6. No, 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 no. no, no. What about if we did it? In the future, after Super, okay, but in the immediate future, between Super and the end of the, like, the end of Z, you know, that time skip, because I think we've got three years in this time skip now, I think that would be awful and the worst thing they could do, but I also think it's the most likely thing that they're going to do. Uh, Again, we know where it goes, we know that Oob's going to be at that tournament, we know everyone survives. I think it would be a mistake yeah. to do it in that time, because... Uh, one of the main problems with Super, like we said before, was uh, the fact that we knew it was all going to be okay because, you know, it took place before the end of Z. It was like a sandwich in there. Yeah. So uh, fitting another series or the, continu the continuation of Super in that small limited window would be exactly the same as that, if not worse, because you've got less time. So, uh, no, I think that'd be risky. Yeah, I think that'd be awful. Uh, I'd go beyond, just go beyond the end of Z and just start fresh. Obviously, GT is non-canon. Well, this this is now this is my final my final like kind of scenario. Unless you've any more yourself, I think if you're going to set it now beyond Z. Now, I was very surprised when Super didn't go to the end of Z. I think the movie might. I think the movie might end with meeting Ub at the tournament. Uh, if you're going to set it just beyond that, you're now at a stage where the likes of Piccolo, Krill, and all they have to be retired. Like, there's no way at all they could still oh fuck, they could still be the same. They couldn't keep up. You know, if you're going to go that age, you know. It would be interesting, but you have to start letting these characters go because they'll just drag the story down, you know? Well, yeah, maybe. I mean, although with, with Piccolo, there's a lot more potential. I mean, there's infinite potential there compared to the likes of the humans because, I mean, there are a number of things you could do. Um, I know, wasn't it, Dende removed the restrictions on the hyperbolic time chamber, so basically you can spend yeah. an indefinite amount of time there. And, and that's a crutch they could lean on. Yeah, I mean, Piccolo could go in there for a few days, I mean, and he could come out, you know, like, I don't know, boo level, possibly? Yeah, yeah, he could do. No reason why not. Like, and I mean, also, I mean, he could also do what those Namekians did uh, in, in the TOP. I mean, he could go to Namek and maybe absorb them all. Yeah, yeah. Maybe they'd be for it. Maybe they'd be against it. They'd, at this point, really, they'd be too weak to say no. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. And we know that even if the, the other Namek is quite weak, it gives you a crazy power boost. So, mm -hmm. yeah, maybe. I love that in the Tournament of Power, Piccolo just special beam cannons, two of them, through the heartners, like. They're really strong. They should survive. <laughs> so this is the power of a universe seven to make it. Yeah, yeah that, that was great. funny. Just like, well, just impale and I'm sure I'm sure it'll live. Um, so <clears throat> I I think it's like I said, I think the most likely is they're gonna keep it in that sandwich gap, you know. But they'll probably well, I think they have to reach the end of Z and they have to go beyond it. They just have to. They could do both. 
what about in one saga they actually do insert it in between the end of super and the end of z but then the next saga go beyond it i mean is that beyond the realm of it's not beyond the realm at all i just i think i think it'd be a good idea just to start fresh and just be like okay we're past z and that's it gt is officially non-canon now you know like Mm -hmm. we are past it we are overriding gt's thing you know it felt a little bit before that yes they were doing things that did kind of make gt nonsensical but it did feel a bit they were scared to make gt non-canon you know but uh I was always under the impression though that GT was it was always assumed to be non-canon. It's I mean, always assumed, but the way they've done it, uh, technically you could argue, you know, I mean, it's <laughs> silly like. But yeah, so there we go. I think the most likely is we're going to see the in between where Super is now in the end of Z, and probably beyond it. But I would love to see uh, a different universe, like a universal hop and adventure. You know, I'd love to see more of these universes that got destroyed. I'd, I'd love them to come out and be like. There was a reason they were destroyed. <laughs> I think that'd be cool. Maybe their demon realms took over because actually, I just on this note, I was I was I was lying awake in bed uh, one night and I decided to look at the anatomy of uh, the universe within you know the, the Dragon Ball multiverse and as basically you as, as you do, um, it, it's like a it's like a, a sphere like you know just like a Dragon Ball or whatever. It all revolves around balls there, doesn't it? it does yeah. But anyway, <laughs> so basically, the, the 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 universe where the sphere is split in two hemispheres: the north and the south, or the top and the bottom. The bottom hemisphere is basically our universe and then the top uh, hemisphere is other world oh, uh, yeah, yeah. and then in between it's divided by hell hell is basically the the line in between and then the very very bottom of our universe uh is the demon realm basically where Tabura rules apparently so that's totally different to hell and then the supreme kai's or the world of the kai's supreme kai home planet it that is just like outside that's exactly yeah. it yeah so um it's, it, one avenue could be that maybe the demon realm breaks open yes. and takes over the whole universe and corrupts the whole that'll thing be, that'll be fucking awesome that would be great actually let's yeah. see more of you know Deborah's realm let's let's it's complete untapped avenue yeah, yeah it really is there are so many different ways you can go yeah, yeah that, that'd be a nice one yeah good call um okay any other any other thoughts about where you would like a new tv show to be set no i think we sort of covered every yeah. every possible we've we've covered maybe a next generation would be okay the previous generation as well you know previous generation mm-hmm. the past uh different universes and the most likely which is just straight after where it was so nice one okay well what do you guys think where would you like a new dragon ball tv show to be set not the movie we know like there's gonna be movie news soon we're gonna know where it's set goku looks pretty much the same age don't know if it's yamoshi in the trailer there's nothing confirmed at the time of the video by the time I edit it, it could be December already. Uh, but yeah. But actually, just before, before we finish on that note there, you said you, we, we don't know if it's Yamoshi. Um, yeah, we, we don't know, but I'm just thinking as well. What, what do you think the chances are that there's another saying left live in the universe? Because oh, I don't think there can be, because whenever Weez did a search at the start of, well, Super, and also the start of, uh, was it the ba- Battle of the Gods, he did a, a scan on his staff and he found, you know, obviously Vegeta, Goku, the, the two half saiyans, well, three half saiyans, obviously, and... Did they mention there's there's Tarble as well? Yeah, but he's not canon. But they no no he is. is like he? I'm reasonably sure they said in Super they Vegeta mentions his brother, but he's away somewhere, mm. and it's like that's weak. I'm sure Weiss could find him. You know? Yeah, but Weiss didn't mention him. So if if there yeah. if Yamoshi was there, then obviously he would have found him. So clearly either well, Yamoshi is. It could be some daft time travel thing. Exactly, he must come, or they could summon him with the Dragon Balls, I guess. So either he's from a different time, or in a different universe, or maybe he's just without a body, possibly just a soul wandering. I don't know, but maybe. Uh, but that's what I'm saying. If, if for the movie, probably if it's Yamoshi, it's probably some daft way that Yamoshi's came to the present time. But if it was a new series, I would much prefer to see Yamoshi's time. You know, I prefer don't have Goku, don't have Vegeta, just have, you know, just have the past, and let's just focus on these new characters. I think that'd be awesome. Yeah, yeah, I think that's so, fair enough, absolutely. Cool. So what do you guys think? Where would you like and when would you like a new TV show to be set? Do you think Super's coming back? Do you not? Uh, yeah, cool. Check out our video, what we liked about Super, and also our video on what we didn't like about Super or what it didn't do so well. So yeah, thanks very much for watching. I've been Scott. This has been Rick. Cheers. Thanks again. Bye. Sweet. Oh, we're not centred now. Are too far to your side? Yeah. Slide this way then. You could maybe slide that way a touch. Over there. Yeah, that's fine. I'll, I'll just I'll do flare it. my lats. Yeah, that's, that's fine. <laughs> I mean, that's embarrassing for everyone involved. <laughs> okay. I'm good to go.